everyone and welcome to the sport here on Prime with me, Oreko Ampofo. We do start from some Ghanaian football where today I marked the launch of the new 2019-2020 football season and the meeting was scheduled to put ideas into place ahead of the new season which is supposed to kick off on the weekend of December 27th and 29th. Now gracing the event was Vice President of Ghana Dr. Baumia as he promised that government would improve on infrastructure to unearth talent here in Ghana. Creation is a priority for this government and the government of Ghana will continue to encourage and support ventures which provide financial relief and economic opportunities for the people. Sport, particularly football, is one area which provides economic opportunities for the youth, both male and female. It is the reason the government of President Akufuado has decided to invest in improving sports infrastructure in the country to develop our games and create more sporting opportunities for the youth. Through the Ministry of Youth and Sports and the Ministry of Inner Cities and Zongo Development, many modern mini stadia are being built across the country. Under the Zongo Development Fund, for example, we have mini stadia and Astros Tefs uh, in places like Medina, New Fadama, Chebi, Walewale, Wale, and so on. And under the supervision of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, 10 sports infrastructure projects, these are really multi-complex uh, sports complexes, are being built at Koforidua, Ho, Axim, Dunkwan, Fin, Ninahin, Domai Hinkro, Yendi, Navrongo, Wa, and the Azuma Nelson Sports Complex in Accra. I recently visited the Ninahini Sports Complex, and it's virtually complete. In fact, it is 95% complete. And it is a very impressive edifice, and it is the same across all the 10. Uh, regions that we are talking about. In fact, I was telling the people of Ninahini that after the Kumasi Sports Stadium, Ninahini is the next best sports stadium in the Ashanti region. Still on the official Ghana football launch uh, season, uh, one of the reasons why Ghana football had to be normalized by the normalization committee in the past year was the fact that referees were, you know, being officiating uh, quite unfairly. And uh, as you could clearly see in Anas, uh, Anas's documentary last year, some referees were spotted in the video, uh, you know, receiving by prior to some matches. A new president of the Ghana Football Association, Keto Kreku, he has assured the clubs of fair officiating ahead of the new season. Now, the, the, the refereeing list is being scrutinized and downsized. This is also a statement of fact. Now, beyond that, we improving on the uh, financial uh, incentives given to referees. We are arranging a transport company to be part of the, of the strategy. We are arranging a, a hotel uh, or hotel company to be part of the strategy just to ensure that we minimize the, the the human connection factor in, 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 in the attempt to deliver good service to us. Okay? Uh, beyond that, I did say also in Congress that there are quite a number of strategies that we will not speak publicly about, including the usage of the services of the national security, i.e. the BNI. Okay? What's most important is for all of us, first of all, to admit the challenges that we've gone through, to also know that all of us have a role to play in ensuring that we have um, a good level of fair officiating in this country. So I think we're working towards it. Still on some Ghana football, we move on to the curtain raiser ahead of the new football season, and that is the President's Cup. As hard to focus.
or oh, that would be wrapping up for the sports here on Prime with me, Oreko Wampofu, and do have a fantastic weekend.